for a second about where we were a year ago. So last year, here in London, we announced the acquisition of Alinti, the leading viewability measurement company. And I wanted to give you all a quick progress update a year later on what's happened with the Alinti acquisition. On the positive side, the team in Compare has continued to be extremely productive and has actually improved the core Alenti measurement technology. And we believe it's now far and away the best technology available in the marketplace. We can measure more impressions than any other vendor. And in fact, on a daily basis, we measure more than any other vendor. Something like 30 billion impressions a day are being measured by our technology platform. And it's also being done native in console. So instead of having to log into two different systems to find out what your viewability rate was, you get it in one place. And soon, you'll be able to do even more with that data now that it's fully embedded in console. And it's also available in log level data. So if you're trying to do interesting things after the fact, you have viewability data there today. And of course, it's free. So you can see it here, this is how this data shows up, and you're not paying for it. You don't have to pay another vendor. You will get the most accurate information from us for free across every impression we serve. And that's the result of the Alenti acquisition we did last June. Now over the past year, we've done a number of other acquisitions. In fact, AppNexus has grown from 550 employees last year to about 950 today. And we'll pass 1,000 soon, as soon as our latest class of college graduates starts in July. So huge growth, almost doubling the size of our company in the past year. And one of the things I'm most excited about is that we've added an extraordinary set of new AppNexians. And right now, I'd like to welcome one of them out, Tom Shields, the founder of YieldX. So I'm going to talk for a second with Tom on the stage. Now, Tom and I have a lot in common. We're both extremely tall. Uh, we both went to Ivy League schools. We've both been CTOs in a former life, right? He went to Harvard. OK, we get it. Um, and it's really been amazing, because when we've added YieldX to AppNexus, I've been surprised at just how similar the companies are, both innovative technology companies solving extremely hard problems with pure technology businesses. And so I asked Tom to come out today and speak to all of you about what technology means for the future of publishers in this challenging time. So Tom, Thank you, take Brian. it away. A so little bit taller. Yes, I'm Tom Shields. I was co-founder of YieldX. And I am actually the second tallest man at AppNexus. So the question I know you're all thinking right now, I am uh, I'm two meters tall. And um, for those of you uh, who are still using the old system, that's 5 foot 19 inches. Um, <laughs> and there's another question that I know you're all wondering about right now, which is, what the heck is a full stack? We've been talking about this full stack idea, but I'm going to tell you over the next few minutes um, what full stack means to us at AppNexus. Uh, but first, I'm going to start with a story. And the story is, when I was in college, I built myself a stereo. I was very excited about this. I went out and I bought speakers, and I bought an amplifier, and I bought a preamp, and I bought a turntable, remember those? I bought a tape deck. I plugged them all together. I bought I had cables and wires and speaker wire and all these things. And eventually, after a while, I got to listen to music. And it was great. It was, it was a fun thing to do in college. But you know, in the end, it was, it was pretty expensive. It took me a pretty long time to hook the thing up. And even though I was able to listen to music, the sound actually wasn't that great. I kept getting this one hum. There was some impedance mismatch, or something wasn't quite grounded right. I, I couldn't quite figure it out. Now, my kids today use something like this. It's a fully integrated stereo system, right? It was pretty cheap to buy, really easy to set up, just plug it in. It's fully integrated, so it's got great sound. And to top it all off, you can actually listen to more kinds of music on this thing. You can listen to MP3s and you know, Spotify and Pandora and all that stuff, you know, ways that we couldn't listen to music to but, you know, uh, when I was setting up my own stereo. So what does this have to do with you know, ad tech? Oh, by the way, one more piece here. These, my kids are listening to more different kinds of music than I was ever able to listen to. So it's actually, these kinds of stereos are better for the musicians because their music is getting heard by more people. So I'll come back to that point. So what does this have to do with ad tech? Well, the ad tech stack is also a mess. It's like my stereo in college. 
It takes a bunch of different pieces from a bunch of different vendors. You have to create your own glue to connect them all together. So, you know, it's, it's a very difficult thing to keep running. So, this complexity is a bad thing. It's a bad thing for publishers because it takes a huge number of people and time and energy to just keep this thing running, delivering. You don't get a good sense of you know, what your business looks like. Um, your business, uh, you know, how many of you actually, this is a good question, how many of you can run a report and know what's going on across all of your ad tech business right now? I mean, a few of you, that's good. You guys are way ahead of the game. Most people can't do that because these, you have to run reports from different systems, you have to figure out how to integrate them all together. It's a huge pain in the butt. What's interesting is, so not only are these things expensive and inefficient, you can't get an insight of your business, but you're, you're, you're also not getting the best yield because your inventory is in different silos, and so you're not able to holistically manage across all of those different silos. And similarly, the ad tech stack is also bad for buyers because they're trying to find audiences on behalf of their clients, and if the audiences are all in different silos, or it's difficult to reach those audiences because they aren't connected to all the different pieces of the ad tech stack, then they can't get the audiences they need. They can't deliver the results, the best results, right? So this is just a bad thing overall. So the question is, how are we gonna solve this problem? And this is something that Brian and I have been talking about. We've known each other for years. It's something that the industry's been talking about. But Brian basically looked at this a few years ago and said, if we're gonna build an independent, integrated, ad tech stack that is gonna solve this problem for our publishers and for our buyers, what's it gonna take? Well, it's gonna take a significant investment. It's gonna take like a quarter of a billion dollars, really, to do this. But this is something that's really important for the industry, and so we're gonna go do it. We're gonna go do it as AppNexus. How do we get started? Well, let's take a look at this diagram. What are some of the things that we can do with it? Well, we can start by looking at just the ad servers. And you heard Michael talk about what we've done there. I mean, you, you've got display, you've got mobile, you've got video, you've got guaranteed and non-guaranteed. How are we gonna integrate all that stuff together? Well, we're gonna try and put together one layer that combines a lot of those things. And to start, we're gonna acquire Open Ad Stream. Michael talked a little bit about this. Open Ad Stream, many of you use, many of you know. Um, tremendous amount of experience in the marketplace, building class one, guaranteed ad serving, building it across mobile, video, display. So by bringing that asset into AppNexus, not only have we acquired technology that is reliable and capable and proven over decades, more importantly, we've acquired 100 people who have decades of experience building this kind of technology. And we can bring that expertise into AppNexus to form the core of this piece of the stack. So, what's next? Well, next is what's near and dear to my heart, right? The top few pieces of the stack. The forecasting, the analytics, and the programmatic direct, which at first may not seem like it fits in that same bucket, but in fact, let me explain a little bit. So, here's another question for you. How many of you have ever had a problem running a forecast, right? <laughs> you ever had a forecast that didn't work out the way you thought, or maybe had to run a make good later, yeah, or had some contention that you didn't expect? This is a, an ongoing problem. Uh, I think ad servers are notoriously bad at forecasting. So one of the challenges, one of the reasons for that, and this is one of the reasons that we, that we founded YieldX, is the set of expertise, the kinds of people, the kinds of engineers that build highly scalable, highly reliable uh, you know, ad systems that can respond in 100 milliseconds and handle a billion ads a day are very different from the kind of people who can take a terabyte of data and try and figure out what's gonna happen tomorrow. It's just a different set of expertise. So when we started YieldX, we decided we wanted to solve that second problem. How do you figure out What's gonna be available to sell tomorrow? And it starts with a very simple question. The question is, how many will I have in the London metro area geo to sell next month? Well, to answer that question, you have to understand, number one, 
what the forecast is for the London metro area geo. And number two, you have to understand what overlaps with that and what's already been sold so you can figure out what's available, right? So first you need to do the forecast, figure out, well, what's my traffic? What parts of my site are generating London metro area geo uh, impressions? How are those things changing over time, day of week, you know, seasonally over the course of a year? Are there spikes or other kinds of things that are going to you know, mess up the forecast? All of those things are things that, that we do at YieldX. But more importantly, you have to figure out how does that London metro area segment intersect with, let's say, the sports section, or let's say, the male's 18 to 24 demographic segment, or maybe even a behavioral segment like auto intenders. So the problem is, if you've sold half the sports section to Nike for two weeks, and you've sold you know, two-thirds of the males, 18 to 24, to American Express for one week, and then you sold uh, you know, the, the, the auto intenders to General Motors for, for another week, now the question is, how do you figure out how many are in the London metro area for next month? Turns out to be a really hard problem. So this forecasting, this analytics, and this understanding of overlapping inventory is the problem that we sent out to solve at YieldX. And it turns out, the reason I put programmatic direct in this is because programmatic direct, or at least automated guaranteed, depends on the ability for you to have an accurate forecast. And so the way that we ended up doing automated guaranteed and programmatic direct is we had publishers who would use a YieldX system whenever they responded to an RFP in the old style, they would say, you know, how many in the London metro area do I have for next month? They'd use YieldX to figure that out. And then they'd send that back to the buyer. And they started saying to us, can we just offer that directly to the buyer in a permissioned and controlled way? And we said, sure, we can do that. So we wrote the code to do that. And now the buyer can actually log into a system and see how many avails there are in the London metro area and what the price is for a particular publisher. Great. But then the buyer called us up and said, hey, this is terrific. Where's the buy button? And we said, oh, that's a good idea. Let's do that. So we put in a buy button. And now you've got, actually, a programmatic buying system where the buyer can look at the avails, look at the price, click buy, and because it's fully integrated into the publisher's ad server, the publisher just has to hit approve, and it's done. So that's why these three things are all in one box. And that is what YieldX built over the last seven years. And if you combine that yield optimization, that forecasting, that analytics for the guaranteed and the premium space with you know, open ad stream in terms of the ad server, so you've got it directly integrated into the ad server, and all the AppNexus stuff, you get a pretty powerful yield optimization system. So the YieldX system, I mean, we built this and we sold it to more than a third of the ComScore uh, in the US, so we had a lot of the largest publishers, folks like Turner and Viacom and NBC and Comcast and Wall Street Journal and New York Times, all using the YieldX system every day to solve this. So we were able to get a lot of the largest publishers to be very successful uh, with our platform. And by, by bringing that into the, into the AppNexus platform, we were able to complete a pretty important part of the stack. All right, so let's keep moving. Um, there's this other big piece, which is you know, mediation across all of these SSPs and ad networks and other non-guaranteed things. This is an area where AppNexus has not been standing still. right? So while they were, also, they were doing acquisitions of OpenAdStream and YieldX, there are hundreds of engineers already at AppNexus who are you know, in, uh, advancing the console technology. And so this is a product, the yield management platform, that AppNexus introduced recently to help do independent mediation across all of the sources of non-guaranteed demand. So this is another way that AppNexus has been able to deliver yield management for publishers um, using the console technology that they've built. Now another box up there is audience extension. Clearly AppNexus for years has provided very sophisticated buying technologies, and a number of the publishers in this room, I think, are also using AppNexus for audience extension. So that piece is already there. So now you're seeing the puzzle start to come together. Now, Brian talked a little bit about Alenti, and that's the viewability piece. 
One key thing we want to do is be able to differentiate the platform, and we've been able to build viewability in from top to bottom. So that's a key piece. We think that's good for buyers because they understand whether their ads are being seen. We think it's good for publishers, as Brian explained. Um, so there's a number of reasons why that's important. And then the last piece, actually, is this data management and the cross-device identity. And one of the biggest challenges I think a lot of the people in this room are facing is this very rapid shift from desktop to mobile. And the challenges there are not always intuitive. One of them, for example, is just the idea of being able to do attribution. And attribution depends on being able to do things like cross-device identity. And so understanding whether your ads were seen, who they were seen by, and what the results of that advertisement were are things that are crucial to making the mobile ecosystem as successful as the desktop and the others, right? And so we purchased a company called MediaGlue that does um, cross-device identity uh, very successfully, and we're integrating that as well. So when you look at this now, this is the App Nexus full stack. When I talk about full stack, this is what we mean. We're trying to provide for publishers a fully integrated, independent technology platform that, that you can run your business on, that you can differentiate your business on, that provides connections into the rest of the ecosystem, and, um, and, and gives us all the benefits of a fully integrated platform. So, I explained earlier, the fully integrated stack is actually better for buyers, too. By having all the inventory in one system, they're able to find the audiences they need. They are able to access them efficiently. So it's not just the publisher saying, oh, I'm going to have a fully integrated stack. I'm going to make more money. The buyers might say, well, hold on a minute. If the publishers are making more money, you know, how can that be good for me? Right? Well, the answer is, you're getting access to more of the audiences that you need. And the buyers that I've talked to have said, they're happy to pay an appropriate amount of money if they can get the audiences and the performance that they require. So this is a win-win kind of a situation, right? The publishers get better yield, but the buyers also get better yield, right? So that's what makes, we, when we try and create technology, one of the things that we look for is, how do we make sure we're creating value for both sides? which is one of the things that's really important about this. So I've painted this vision of the App Nexus full stack. And I have to say, it's not completely finished yet, right? We've, some of these acquisitions are relatively recent. I've just joined the company. So a lot of this integration is still happening. But by the end of this calendar year, these integrations are going to be completed. And you're going to have that seamless end-to-end -end full stack solution. So, you know, when you, this, is, this is the place, this is the view, right? This is the, the place everybody wants to be. It's, it's a beautiful spot, everyone's happy, it looks nice, right? The vision's great. And I know what you're thinking next. You're thinking, hold on a second. You're telling me I have to change my ad server. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right? I know. This is, this is a big challenge, it's a big barrier. And so it's one of the things that we spend a lot of time thinking about. If you want to, realize this vision, if you want to get to the place where you have an independent, fully integrated ad tech stack that actually allows you to build your business and differentiate your business, you got to do a little bit of work. So fortunately, you know, how do you get over a wall like this? You build a staircase. And we've got stair steps that take you along the way. Right? And so that's one of the ways you can get started now. Many of you are already working with AppNexus in this room. So you get started. Get started with things like you know, get access to our non-guaranteed demand, or get access to our guaranteed demand through our programmatic direct piece, right? Those pieces are available today. If you're a little bit more sophisticated or you've been an AppNexus customer, you can start moving up the staircase. You can begin doing audience extension. Or you can use our yield management platform for non-guaranteed yield management, and that's available today. And ultimately, we want to get you on the final step, which is the holistic yield management across your guaranteed and your non-guaranteed across your video and your mobile and your desktop. That's the vision. That is the AppNexus full stack. That's the place we want to take you all. And we would love to have you on the journey with us. Thank you very much.